Hey, it's time once again for another episode of This Old Outboard, and I'm your host, Brian Seabass. This thing's loosening up. It's taking forever, but I'm going to start putting it back together. Um, you know, it's taking a lot less effort to turn it, but it's still... Kick my ass, man. It's, yeah. I've been using the PB Blaster multi-purpose lube. I use that whole can of that other stuff, the WD-40. Just keep hitting it. And I'm trying not to go super heavy. Because it just, you know, this drips down and gets wasted. So. Keep on, keep it on, baby. So first things were first here, the two bolts that hold on the old starter mount. There's two pieces to that mount. And with the new starter I put in, the bottom piece has been eliminated. Put the two bolts back in. Second, new vacuum line hooked up. Zip tied off. This goes over here to the that cutoff switch. Get rid of this old line. Cut this. Oh man, there's crap dripping out of there, which is probably just water from where I rinse this thing down. The wires. Just pull the wires out. Let me show you this real quick. Ooh, get a turn here. Come on, baby. See what I mean with this thing, man? Good God, I mean, it's just kicking my butt. Come on. All right, so anyway, the vacuum cutoff switch, these two wires were in here, and as I'm pulling on this damn hose, I think you can see what I'm doing. As I'm pulling on this damn hose, they just, just came right out, which is a good thing because obviously it needs to be redone. So I'm just put this off to the side for now and get back up front with the carburetor. One up. Now, I did say earlier, I did not order up this new gasket. Just totally forgot about it, but I think that one's gonna be okay. Get this baby on here. Yeah. And that's going to be your half inch nut and you're going to need a half inch wrench baby tighten her down now this thing here i'm not real keen on it it's a combo electric choke and now it almost works I don't really plan on even using that thing, so, but I'll hook it up right. Let me give you, let me give you this shide, shide, shide shot here. You can see what I'm talking about on the shide. So, this part, and you pull the choke, see how it's hitting right here. So it's not even traveling very far it can't travel very far and then here's the spring and I moved the spring back over here it was on the other side huh that's kind of a funky setup but I'm not gonna worry about it right this momento well, I'm here. Let's put that damn fuel pump on. What the hell, right? Carb is on. All right. So I have rebuilt this, this fuel pump. It's an older style pump. And the reason I rebuilt it was for the 89 that's out there on the boat. When I was having all that problem, 
Oh yeah, baby, you want to check that out? Eliminating the fuel system on the 1989 Evan Rude. So I ordered up the new diaphragm. And as it turned out, the old pump was fine. So put the old pump back on. And keep this one for future. I'm going to put a little WD on here. She slides in. Like yeah. So, there is the fuel system on. And part of it. Zip ties. I got zip ties. I'm not going to do clamps on this thing go with the zips the zipper roonies all right let's see if i can get that hose through there that has to be the way right okay let's see what i got in my box and see if i got one which i'm sure i do if i don't have one here up. Here's one right here. As a matter of fact, this puppy came off of that 89. Oh man, that hose is hard as a rock. Holy mackerel, baby. I'm not kidding you. Hard as a rock. Little WD, zippy tie, zippy tie, yokai, yay. All right, so I did find this shorty screw. I'm gonna use it. Go ahead and hook up these ground wires. My starter ground and the ground power head to pan ground wire. Gotta have that. Oh, man. Can you see that? Fuse is supposed to go in there. And there is one in there, but it's probably from 19. Look at that shit. It's just breaking out apart. Damn. Now, what do you do? You don't come out here barefoot. That's where it, one thing. All right, so my camera died. I didn't realize it. I don't know where I exactly left off, but this was the piece that was on here and uh, where the two wires had pulled out. And I redid them up, hooked them back up. Got to tighten this all up. Plus I did this top wire. I believe that's where this goes from this nut up here to this switch at all has to do with like um, the vacuum cutout switch when it feels a certain amount of vacuum it'll knock out one cylinder is what what's going on so if the motor's like running in excessive speeds boom it'll cut down that one cylinder uh, just to be safe so i believe this is how this is going my 28 rx11 exactly the same way there may be one wire coming off here but I'm not 100% sure because this side is coming off. So I have to double check on this. But I think I'm good to go. Oh yeah baby, check out the 1963 28-horse RX-11. It's all there on the channel baby, check it out. And also, I got that old... Uh, Fuse, glass fuse, got all those parts out, threw a little WD-40 in there, cleaned it out, should be good to go, just need a new fuse. I should have fuse laying around here somewhere. 
anyway if you ever get coils like this always pull these covers you know cut this wire off keep this wire don't throw that wire away plus keep your the plug wires they just screw right out the reason why you want to keep this stuff because you may need it one day and especially these these little these little covers aren't aren't uh, they charge you for them if you need them so hang on to that stuff throw the rest away yeah so many times i've had to use these for kill switches and stuff and you can take them apart you can open the metal little clips back up take them out put your wire in close them back up slip them back in here and they're reusable but you gotta you know you gotta do do it easy and save you some cash baby all right so i'm gonna call it a day today got the carb on fuel line i need I hope they carry the plugs I need for this because I believe they were a little different. I hope they have them down here where I bought plugs. There's a little bit of corrosion on here, a little scary. Right around the head here. Plugs, uh, fuel line. I've got everything else uh, ready to go. And we'll Thanks get again for watching tomorrow. and commenting. And see if we got sparkles. Follow the there. real life saga. One outboard at a time, baby. You never know what's gonna happen next. It's this old outboard, baby. Oh yeah, baby, you know the channel. Don't forget to subscribe.